Szegetni. Uh, good afternoon, good Elia. Afternoon, it, Peter. Good afternoon. It's 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 good to be with you. And first of all, I just want to express uh, in the name of all our viewers, I hope in the name of all our viewers, that Hungary is standing strong with Israel. And this past week, we have organized a big rally on the bank of the Danube at the exact place of the Shoe Mon uh, Memorial, the place where Hungarian Jews have been shot to death 80 years ago. And uh, now we wanted to make it clear that we are standing with Israel against terrorism. So, uh, and we are following these, uh, the events of this uh, uh, very mm -hmm. difficult week. So we are standing with you. God bless you all. It's unbelievable. It's, it touches me very deeply in my heart. It's a beautiful thing. It really and, is. And just, just let me share you with, the, it's a breaking news. Uh, just a few moments ago, the Hungarian government and the Hungarian police just announced that it will, the government will ban all pro-terrorist, pro-Palestinian demonstrations in Budapest. There have been uh, several one organized and Hetek has been the publication and the media that called the attention of the public of these unacceptable and outrageous uh, plans. And we are glad that so many people protested against it, that the police and and uh, also Prime Minister Viktor Orban just heard uh, these protests and announced that at least in Europe, one place, one, one capital, Budapest, will not allow these kind of uh, pro-terrorist demonstrations. I, I want to emphasize um, that even the, the protests that they say are pro-Palestinian, they're not pro-Palestinian. They started the protests right after the murders. They, and, and there was a protest in New York City, pro-Palestinian, where they were chanting 700, 700, because that was how many Jews were killed on Saturday. At that time, that's what we knew. Um, probably now they're they're chanting 1300 1300 they're not chanting save the palestinians they're not chanting you know mercy on the palestinians or save the palestinians anything like that they're they are exulting they're happy that jews were murdered i i, I wish i could say it some other way but that's that's what's happening so to ban, I mean, of course, free speech, but you can't have, free speech does not include having a rally where people are celebrating the murder of innocent civilians. And that's what these pro-Palestinian rallies are. So, so Hungary is fantastic what they just did. It's not anti-free speech. It's saying, no, you cannot call for the murder of Jews. Sure, sure. It's, this is how we think as well. So let's 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 uh, uh, turn to uh, Israel. It's been almost a week uh, mm. since the uh, the terrible, murderous uh, attack on Israel. Uh, how does the Israeli public uh, uh, been thinking about uh, this tragedy, and uh, and what is the what is the uh, what is on 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 people's mind? We hear the news. We we hear all these all the all the all the military preparations. But I just want to uh, ask you about uh, the uh, what is going on the mind and the heart of the people. Well, first of all, I live in the Golan, uh, right on the Syrian border. So I'm in the safest place in the world right now. <laughs> but we have F-16s flying overhead nonstop, night and day. Um, the F-16s are making sure that Hezbollah doesn't do anything and i'm sure they're also doing active things against it but if you remember it was only a week ago that there were major um uh, uh demonstrations uh, very hot demonstrations in israel over the judicial reform and it was actually over a lot of issues it was not just the judicial reform it was really a very very deep break in israeli society and that disappeared it's gone entirely um netanyahu formed a unity government which if it had been any other circumstance half the country would have screamed 
both halves of the country would have screamed. Israel is entirely together. We are one nation. Um, and when you compare this to the Holocaust, we're comparing it to the Holocaust. Um, it's not, it is the most Jews that were killed. It's the most tragic day in Jewish history since the Holocaust. Um, and God forbid that horror should come back into the world. Um, I've been in Israel for 31 years. Uh, this is the first war. This is not like the other um, engagements with with Gaza and Hamas. I've never seen anything like this. The streets uh, the streets are are empty um, because the only people traveling on the streets are are pretty much are the army um, and. Um, <clears throat> tanks are I live up north, so the tanks, there are a lot of tanks up here. The tanks were going back and forth. Um down south, I imagine it's it's much, much worse. Um it was it was a several days, I think it was Tuesday morning, they finally said, Okay, we've got all the terrorists out, meaning there were terrorists running around killing civilians until Tuesday morning, and even after that, they were still finding terrorists. That's never happened before either. They found 1,500 bodies of terrorists, meaning there were 1,500 that were killed in Israel. There were probably thousands and thousands and thousands. And this, I think, it's now you can't deny the truth, which is if Hamas could have what they want, this is what they want. They want to just run through the streets murdering every single Jew in the most disgusting way possible. No one can deny it. Um, so we're very much in shock. We're very much together. Um, there it's, I, I don't think you can understand that we're a very small country just to bury 1300 people. It's a lot. It's a lot. All of the social media, every other post on the social, on my social media is a family <clears throat> announcing that they just that they just found out that their their loved one is dead. There are people who are still looking to find out what happened to their loved one, um, whether they were taken hostage, whether they were murdered and no one found their body. Um, the organizations, I have a friend who works on an organization, we call it Zaka. Um, taking care of a dead body is a very important, huge mitzvah uh, 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 I don't know how do you say mitzvah commandment um we I, I've actually done it myself um there are people volunteering to dig graves these these people they're, they're what kind of country prepares for 1300 murdered people um it's it's overwhelming us emotionally spiritually physically it's really it's it's a catastrophe, and it's a catastrophe in a very small country. Um, people are really, I mean, I you know, I, I go to the supermarket, and you know, you'll be walking down the aisle, no one is smiling. Um, some people break out crying, and we all know why. Um, we are a country in mourning. We've been deeply, deeply hurt. In these very dark so, hours, uh, what is the ray of light for people you know i know that uh, you are uh, believing in the bible you're you're believing in the prophecies uh, uh, is there anything that in these times you can grab from the writings from the torah from the from the prophets that well can, it can always help? it always bothered me that um we were cursed to be a nation by ourselves. I believe that was Bilam who said that. Yeah. And I always said, Bilam, you know, he was a kind of a prophet, but not a really good prophet. So maybe he saw the future, but since he wasn't such a great prophet, maybe his words will fade out or stop working at some point. And honestly, to be a Jew is lonely. You know, everywhere you go, you are a Jew. And all throughout history, Jews have been separate. 
in in a very hard in a very hard way. Um, we've been alone, and being alone is first of all it's it's very hard and painful, and it's also not who we are. We're supposed to be a nation of priests. Priests connect with other people. Priests are never alone. So it hurt me to be a nation alone. And on one hand, I'm seeing anti-Semitism like I never saw in my life. How can you have a protest rally where hundreds of people come to call for your death just because you're a Jew? Call for the death of you, the death of your family, the death of your children, the death of everyone you know, just because you're a Jew. But on the other hand, I have people like like my friend Peter, who, who reaches out to me from Hungary just because I'm a Jew in Israel. I We have Christian organizations coming praying for Israel. It's... That that is an incredible ray of light. I'm hoping that the words of Bilam are disappearing and that we're not going to be a nation alone anymore. Um, we were alone in the Holocaust, and that's why it happened. Um, and and God willing, we're not alone anymore. There are there are people standing up for us, and and that is, I think, a huge ray of light. Huge. That's that's amazing. Thank you, and that encourages us. To continue in this work, I know Eliyahu that uh, that Shabbat is coming. Yes. Uh, d- in these times, do you still observe? Can you still observe Shabbat? First of all, Shabbat is is a very big blessing. Why? Because even if no matter how crazy your week is, no matter how much your week is full of work and everything. The minute Shabbat comes in, and I know people who they they're, they're, they they have to chain smokers, they smoke cigarettes, and as soon as Shabbat comes in, they put the cigarette away. Okay, <laughs> Shabbat is very special like that. Um, and I just got a request from my boss um to work on Shabbat, and it'll be the first time in thirty five years that I have not kept Shabbat. Um, and the reason is, um, there's a method of Jewish law of, of figuring out Jewish law. We are, our organization, Israel 365 is working with a group of over 250 organizations, many of them Christian, um, who are working to get the hostages released. And that's a mitzvah. That's a a biblical commandment is to release a hostage and that biblical commandment is even i don't want to say it's more important than shabbos but you can deflect shabbat and do and 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 not observe the laws of shabbat in order to to free hostages even if there's only a chance of freeing the hostages even if there's only even if it won't work but if there's some hope that you can give a little bit to to freeing the hostages. So for the first time in 35 years, I'm going to be working on Shabbat. I had to, of course, ask a rabbi who is well-versed in the law. And he is a rabbi I'm very close with. Um, and he gave me what we call a heter. He gave me rabbinic permission um, to to work to free hostages. Um, and it's the first time in 35 years I haven't kept jobs, and I really needed this job. <laughs> I really needed it, and I'm not going to get it. So amazing, amazing. So we are continue praying for it. There are, you, you, you should also know that uh, there's not only political activism that is uh, supporting Israel in Hungary, but also thousands of people are praying Thank uh, God. in this in this very hour and moment all over the country. So. Prayer, people people underestimate prayer. God, the world was created when God prayed. So if people can change the world by praying, I mean, if you think Abraham, Abraham, his whole thing was, you know, okay, God wants to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, God, we have to talk. Okay. <laughs> so so um, it's it, especially at times when it looks like things are going to be very difficult. It's very important to, to, to talk face-to-face to to God and work things out. Um, That's very important. And also, like I said, people need to know, I mean, Hamas was working off of 
the the idea that no one cares about Jews dying. Um, and until recently, that was true. You know, until recently in Poland and Russian, if someone, if a, if if the peasants were were angry, the Duke would say, "Go out and kill some Jews," and everything was fine. And Hamas was working on that. They were depending on the fact that no one would care if they killed Jews. So for people like you, for non-Jews, for Hungarians to stand up and say, "No, we will not be silent. We, I'm going to cry. I know I will. <laughs> we will not be silent." We we will never be silent again. Neither Jews will never be killed again. That's... Neither neither will we. Thank God. Thank you. Thank, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God you very much. You. Peter. God bless you. We stay. And I bless you back. right back because that's what they say. I got to do. <laughs> you bless okay. me. I bless you. Thank you. And for all the all the all the people of Israel, may Lord uh, comfort you and strengthen you. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Peter.